seconds till we're back, everybody. Tons of energy coming back Wait, out of the yes, commercial yes, break. Yes, New Day yes. in the ring, and they're waiting oh. on Bobby Lashley and MVP. Coming back in eight, seven, six. Tons of energy coming back out of commercial break. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. It is Let's see that energy out yeah, there. Rock. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Oh man, what's a Google Assistant? Damn it. I'm wearing the wrong t shirt. Oh, and I'm live. Hello, folks, welcome back for I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. And the first thing I want to say we have the return of Mojo. Mojo recently got in touch with me. I guess he liked an older video I, I put up. Um, there goes a hobo cat just looking herself in front of everyone. Who knows? Um, some bad news. Well, well, I'll get to that a little bit. Well, I might as well get to it now. Bad news. There will be nothing new for the door of wrestling. Everything's gone electronic. This sucks. I don't like electronic. I want my freaking free souvenir. Primarily... It's my ticket. Let's see here. Let me show you my ticket that I got. I know this is this video is going up late because I have so much stuff to do tomorrow too. Yeah, see. That's, oops, something went wrong. Yeah. Phones went wrong. I'm going to delete you. But yeah, I mean I got it from Ticketmaster. There's stuff about it. Oh, well, there's no more paper tickets. That sucks. I like my paper tickets. That's for AEW Dynamite, which I'll get to hopefully tomorrow. Delete you. Free up some space. There we go. That's excellent. Yes. For I have my notes. Oh, wait, not, not these notes. These are for... Oh, well, I can actually read that stuff. That's good. But no, I have my notes from the previous weekend for AEW Homecoming. Wow, isn't it amazing what happens when I actually take notes? You know what? I gave myself a 7 out of 9 matches. I only guessed... I only got one wrong in the second round of action, so that's pretty good. I guessed both... Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I slept through that, though. That's why. Right, so I did get that one right. That one wrong, but that's okay. I did myself 7 out of 9 because for the most part, I got stuff right. That means, as far as I'm concerned, if Triple H was running Impact, well, Paul Levesque, I'd be your right-hand man because I know exactly what you're thinking. Did I mention Mojo? Shout it out. That's always cool. Mojo, you are in, remember, you are in the eight pounds of aluminum tournament that I'm having soon. Well, there we go. With all that being said, less time to get to some Monday Night Raw action. And again, it's kind of one of those shows again where it's that solid middle-of-the-road show. That audience is being very cheeky, though. Um, starts off, Goldberg goes out there to confront Bobby Lash. He's like, I want an answer, because you're next. And his son's there, and then MVP starts talking smack to his son. Goldberg comes out, spears MVP. Good fathering by Goldberg. And then we have the Drew McIntyre versus Veer and Shanks. Shanks is an Indian name. It's terrible sounding. Veer, I couldn't understand. I mean, Rohit, I don't know any Indian names. Kali, no, that's already been used. Kreva, that sounds Indian. I don't know. But yes, that cheeky audience. C M Punk? C M 
Punk? C. M. Punk. We know who the audience wants, but you know what? You're not getting him. Yep. And um, we want Wyatt. You're not getting Bray Wyatt either. Um, who else were they chanting for? They didn't do the yes chants. That one idiot at the AEW show was. Jeez. Do not ever be that wrestling fan. Oh, good. Great, good, great, good, Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, so Drew McIntyre versus Veer and Shanks. Or Shanky. Uh, that seems even less Indian. Uh, Shanky has the big strikes, very basic stuff by Shanky. Never saw him before. So I have no idea how he could actually wrestle. Um, Drew starts to come back on Veer as he gets in. And he takes out Shanky again. Jinder, however, comes in and swings a chair at Drew. Gets the DQ. It's three on one. Three chairs versus one human being. Except for that guy has a sword. Whoa, whoa. I mean, don't, I mean, don't bring chairs to a sword fight. That's just not good sounding. But yeah. Um, Drew, some Drew McIntyre obviously wins by disqualification. Uh, the DQ, death, death, baby. Drew McIntyre wins. But you know what? It was just a ham sandwich of a match, though. Then we have Nia Jax gets interviewed, and then Drew gets interviewed. And then uh, we have Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax. Uh, Nia's looking better. The fact that she lost those stupid wings on her hips makes her sl seem slimmer. Um, she has her hair out. She looks definitely more Samoan. She looks like one of the wild Samoans almost. Very better luck for Nia Jax. Against Rhea Ripley. Both are almost the same height. I never realized how pale Rhea Ripley looks though. I guess if you have pale brown haired woman versus blonde haired woman. They both look the same skin tone. When you have like Samoan Pacific Islander natural skin tone. Against like a pale person. The pale person looks paler. I don't know. But yeah. Um, uh, Nia Jax again heavy striking. Until she gets sent to the ropes. Um, Rhea comes out. And she starts her comeback on the outside. And then Nia Jax got like kicked. Or something happened. But she got busted open man. She wore the crimson mask. I'll tell you what. She wore the crimson mask pretty good too. That was impressive. She got busted open the hard way. The nice combo. But the Simone drop only gets the two... Sweet count. I did that too fast, so my camera's going to be all screwed up for the rest of the show. But that's okay. Um, eventually, there is some distraction. Because, remember, Shayna Baszler is outside the ring. Uh, Rhea Ripley gets the roll-up. I can see that happening. You know what? Okay, match. Cheeseburger match. And then we had a little tease of the tag team breakup. So that'll be good. It's good to get Nia Jax and Shane and Baszler back on their own separate single ways. That would be a good thing. Then we had... And then this started again to rematch Mania. Which is not necessarily what I'm a fan of. I'll give them one more week. They do the same matches one more week. I might have to duck them a few points. Because we had Al, Al, Al Mustafa Ali and Mansoor taking on Mason T Bear again. And kind of a replay of last week. Um, again, Ali and Mansoor, they're flipping on the outside. They're great at that. However, they got a little too cute. Ali sets up uh, T Bar. But then Mansoor gets kicked off, gets like, kind of shoved into the ropes. A little bit of a distraction. Um, so yeah, so that's the distracted win. Um, yeah, so again, 
T-Bar and Mace get their victory back. Not a bad match. I'll tell you what, though. If they keep on doing all this rematch stuff, it is going to go down. Mason T-Bar win. Cheeseburger match. For now. But don't guarantee anything, though. And um, then they get jumped. So that's good. If the double chokes slam in, that's, that's fine. I'm good with that. Um, and then, of course, because Charlotte Flair shows up, we want Becky. We want Becky. We want Becky. Well, Becky's not showing up. But, yeah, that's okay. Um, again, it was a Charlotte Flair and Nikki. Uh, I, I can't bring my just Nikki. Can't bring myself to say it. Uh, again, during the Flair promo, we want Nikki. That was pretty good. Um, and then Nikki crossed John Charlotte Flair, which was always fun. Then we have Dewdrop versus Tamina. This actually wasn't bad. This is like the immovable force versus this, this is the irresistible fourth baby. Both of the immovable object. Uh, it's, a, it's a slugfest. Um, it's power for power. Kind of good like that. Eva tries to distract her. She gets scared off by Tamina. <laughs> Eva Marie realizes that she doesn't want anything to do with Tamina, which is kind of smart, actually. Uh, Dewdrop. Again, the... Um, Elbow drop and the running splash is always good. Then there was the, the Cobra Clutch. Yeah. If you're going to do like Sergeant, Sar Sar Sergeant Slaughter's finisher, the, the Cobra Clutch, you have to make sure that you actually put the person to sleep. Yeah, because that would be good. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, they square off on the neck. It's, it's something cool looking though. It's a Cobra Clutch by Sergeant Slaughter. That has to be a finisher. They're treating that, that and the Million Dollar Dream god-awfully. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, then they need some yay boos. Um, Dewdrop missed the cross body. So she loses the match. Tamina wins. There's an Alexa Bliss and Lily thing up on the screen. That's kind of getting weird. It, it was... You know what? They didn't really do much. It wasn't... Terrible. It's a cheeseburger match. Then there was a riddle and someone else talking backstage. Oh, Damien Priest. And with Ms. TV, yeah, that's right. This led to Ms. TV, Damien Priest. You know what's going to happen there. It's Morrison versus. Damien Priest, really quick match. This is terrible. You know, every so often my hopes for, for Johnny Mundo are up here. And then they're so expertly squashed by the WWE and they're brought back down here again. It's, I don't know, not good. Um, Mundo, again, his, his parkour is no match for uh, Damien Priest's strength. He's too quick. Uh, Sheamus comes out. Ricochet makes the save. Yeah, Morrison eats. It's kind of like a weird, like, smosh finish. I think Damian Priest won. I honestly didn't pay any attention to this match. Um, it's a ham sandwich match, though. And then, of course, holla, 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 player. Yep, we channel the ghost of Teddy Long. Because we have Mundo, <laughs> I shouldn't call him Mundo, uh, John Morrison and Sheamus takes on Damien Priest and Ricochet, Ricochet, uh, the two fresh faces, and Mundo, oh my god, they're so good, Ricochet should do nothing but have matches against Johnny Mundo, Ricochet needs to put on the Prince Puma mask, Johnny Mundo, he has to become Johnny Mundo somehow, uh, they're so fast, so, so flippy, however, Sheamus is a little too strong for Ricochet, at least, on the outside. This was the spot of the night, though. Miz is smart. 
Um, those mats are kind of plasticky, so if you put water on them, they're slick. So what Miz does with his stupid dripstick thing, he waters up the mats, and this way it turns it into like a slip and slide. Johnny Mundo just literally slides. This is great. Slides Ricochet down right into the post. That was amazing, though. That was the spot of the night. That's that might be the spot of the year, though. That's just genius. Uh, Mundo and Sheamus they do a little double team for a while. Mundo could not hit the midnight drive. Sheamus went over the top rope. Mundo eats Damian Priest finisher. Uh, Damian Priest and Ricochet win. So I'll, I'll tell you what the, the spot saved it. Cheeseburger match. Oh, and this is a match I liked. It was Omos taking on Matt Riddle. I love me some squash matches, especially when the squash matches make sense. Uh, this match made perfect sense. Uh, Riddle, he, he started off strong. He tried to deliver some knees, big running knees to Omos. And right before the match started, smart wrestling, at least attack the other guy before he's a chance to get you first. Strike first before he strikes you first. Very smart idea. Uh, from there, however, Riddle just gets ragdolled for attempting to, to win. Um, he tries to jump Omos on the sleeper. No, that doesn't ha that doesn't work out well. Omos just, just tries to win with the um. Yeah, you try to do like the the very heelish pin, just putting his foot on. Matt Riddle, that's not going to happen. That was good though. Um, Omos was no selling. The knee, the vicious running knees by Riddle. And this is how a monster should be booked. You're going to have him take some, a little offense, kind of no-sell it, shrug it off, make it feel like it's just a, nu a nuisance. It's like, why am I being annoyed by this? And then just bring the hammer down. Because, you know, he's the, I'm the hammer. And he's the nail. One of the greatest wrestling taglines I've heard in a long time, and I gotta wrap this up soon. Um, so Omos wins cheeseburger squash match. Did everything he should have done. Then we have Lily and Alexa Bliss again. Um, I forget it was at this exact time. If not, it's Pretty close. Um, Dewdrop and Eva Marie, they jump Alexa Bliss, shove the doll down, and then Lily has the powers of the Undertaker. And yes, you all know which Undertaker I'm speaking of. There is the one, the only Undertaker, and that's because I got my picture with the Undertaker. Yes. There we go. Yep, Undertaker. Look at the size of that fist. It's like half the size of my face. Yeah. So again, because Lee just sits straight up. My the doll no no sells. Eva Marie. That's kind of funny. Then we have um, Karen Cross versus Keith Lee. Again, the same thing. The same rematch. The same start. However, in this, Lee can fly a little bit. On the outside, Cross is a judo toss, which always looks good. Um, Cross again runs runs into the shoulder, eats a magnum, and gets pounced. That's great. And this time, there's no Saito suplex in the ring, no cross jacket. Lee wins with a spirit bomb. Impressive move, but unfortunately, it's 50-50 booking. Again, I'll give him a pass this once, but this is... Another cheeseburger match. Then we have um, Rhea Ripley interviewed. And this is when I found a lady. Whoa. In that light, she is pasty looking. It's terrible. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not even that pasty looking. Am I? Let's see here. I can barely see my paste at least. Yeah, my nice tan. 
got muscle ladies. Hey, I'm single, okay. Yeah, a little bit of the fishing tan, but that's okay. Um, yeah, but she's just pacey all throughout, though. Then we had uh, Reg uh, Reggie versus Tazawa. It's still flippy. He just wanted to pretend to be French so he could get women and get in the WWE. Yeah, guess what? Wah, wah, wah. Um, the flippy stuff's great. Tazawa just looks incompetent. Reggie hold on to the 24-7 championship. Can of soup. And then we have the main event. Again, 50-50 booking WWE. Nikki Cross and Charlotte Flair in a no holes bar match. Charlotte just beats up Nikki Cross for most of the beginning of the match. Nikki tries, but Charlotte's a little bit too strong. Um, Charlotte wants to use the tail. She wrecks it, pulls out all the monitors, threatens the announced people. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then she spears Nikki through the barricades. And the whole time... We want tables. We want tables. This crowd just wanted blood. If they weren't going to get CM Punk, Bray Wyatt, or Becky Lynch, they were in a bloodlust from what happens to Nia Jax. And now they want to see poor Nikki Ash go through a table. <coughs> what a terrible bunch of human beings there. That's... People from Chicago, what dorks, nerds, and geeks. But then, um, so again, Charlotte and Pick uh, threw Nikki in the ring, but picked her up by the hair. Hubris, Charlotte Flair. Hubris. Be careful, that's going to come back and bite you. Um, Charlotte then finds some chairs. Nikki gets powerbombed eventually through the announce table. Again, the arrogant pin, stepping on her, not a good sign. She's done twice, Charlotte, twice. Um, eventually, though, Charlotte, she set up the table, and Charlotte, you should know the rule of tables. You set up the table, you go through the table. And I think they even chanted, we want punk. We want punk during this match, too. Um, so Nikki wins solid match cheeseburger match so hopefully I can get all the editing work on this project done or this morning and later this morning or yeah later this morning this will go up finally uh, my Live AEW action review will be take will go up probably Thursday night. Get that done. I have to make some commentary, start ed the whole editing process, upload videos. There's a lot of videos. It was the only thing the security people cared about. They just didn't want idiots going into the front row. They left people in the hobo section alone to fend for ourselves. Um. Jacksonville person almost got a battery thrown in the back of his head by the one, the only hobo Tom. Because he wouldn't sit down, damn it. Just sit down and enjoy the wrestling show. Don't block the view of others. Eventually I just moved seats. Said what a jerkwad that guy was, but that's okay. And then there was that wrestling guy who was way too drunk and way too excited to put PBR on a Domino's box. Yeah. Um, and then Friday is going to be probably a very quick review of SmackDown eventually. This weekend I have off. So I'll be good. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you guys want to be like Mojo and have your own character in the Daytona Beach Bumfight League, you guys know what to do. Hit me up. Comment. I am back somewhere on Woot on WooTube or whatever they call it. Wrestle Baked or Baked Wrestling. I have no clue what I, I forget what it's called. I'm just so happy it's back. Um, email me. Every so often I do check my emails. Normally they're bad. Um, send a comment though. And also feel free to like and subscribe. See you everyone later. Bye. Gotta get out of this. I gotta get out of this. This wrong branded t-shirt.